What's up, people? Welcome to this look that I have created. And yes, I have finally become the ice queen that I was born to be. I got ice in my roots, ice in my veins. Finally, I am here and I am living for this icy blue hair that has finally graced my body after all of these years of being platinum blonde and not really putting color in my hair. I'm like, why not? Why not now? The world is ending. I might as well do something exciting with my life, like make my hair blue. So here we are. I am living for it. I'm really excited about it. I decided to do a colorful makeup look that kind of went with my pretending to go to a trap show slash kawaii slash cyberpunk look that I tend to go for. You already know I got it on my face. So here we go. Oh yeah. So after giving yourself a facial, just kind of think about your life choices and how you've gotten this far in life and then rub that shit in. Hello. I feel like I look like a superhero with this hair. Yeah, it's actually getting a little too hot with this jacket because I have the door closed here and the cold air is not rushing in here. So I'm gonna take off one layer. I'm just gonna rub that onto my eyelids because I've been feeling super lazy with my makeup lately. Like I don't really want to go all in with the base for the eyeshadow. The base. What time is it? It's wine o'clock. Oh, I'm so dumb. Help me. Please, someone help me. I'm going insane. Now I'm just gonna use this shitty fluffy brush that I've had forever and this NYX banana powder. So here I'm gonna be using NYX banana powder all over my face. I really love this powder, it's really great. I especially love this shape. I think of this shape day and night, um, especially when I'm in bed alone. I really enjoy this shape. It's a great shape for my face. It's a great shape for my body. Hello? Oh my God, no way. That was my mom, we were just chatting about fur jackets. I don't know, I have this fur jacket that I kid you not, I've literally had since I was like 10 years. I've been wearing this casually. I seriously do look like I'm naked. I've just been wearing this casually and pretending that it's an adult size jacket. This is a size children's 12 from The Gap. A children's size 12 from The Gap that I've had for probably like 15 years of my life and I'm over here pretending that it actually fits me and it totally does not. I mean, it fits like it goes on myself. Move my camera. Like it goes on, but like the sleeves, I have to like roll the sleeves down to make it look like they actually fit. It like doesn't really fit that great. Like it's great for what it is and I've worn this to music festivals cause it's like whatever, it's just like an older jacket that I have. It's like not that big of a deal, but it is nice and I've had it forever. But I am now finally gonna get the adult version of this jacket. I was just talking to my mom about that. So it's like, I have the kid version. Why not get the adult version? I'm an adult, right? I don't wanna be one, but here we are. I'm hashtag adulting. Kobe. Rip. Seriously? Can I even like say that meme anymore? What am I even doing? I'm putting on makeup. Oh yeah, I was putting on my NYX banana powder when I got distracted by this beautiful banana powder that is just really great for my skin all around. Do you ever get like a perfectly ripe banana? Like, I feel like when the tip is a little bit green and like it's not totally ripe, not going for it. But like when it just, the entire thing just turns yellow, like the first day that the whole banana is yellow. I, I like can't have this conversation, but it's happening anyways. When the, when the banana turns yellow for the first time, I feel like that is like peak, peak banana performance. You know what I mean? Like it's just so good. Anytime after that, like even today I'm like, Sounds like something's happening outside. I don't know what, but I mean, 
Once it starts getting these brown spots, that's when it starts getting ripe and it just gets like a little too sweet. I don't know. I need my banana to be like perfectly ripe to go inside of my body. I got standards, okay? I got standards. I'm not putting anything in my body, not just anything. It has to be a perfectly ripe banana. I just really like applying bananas to my face. It's great. Oh yeah, I wanted to do colored eyebrows for multiple reasons. One, because I have colored hair and two, because I'm running out of my brow pencil and I need to save that shit for when I have work meetings because I'm not going to a work meeting looking like this. Is that, excuse me, you're interrupting my corporate commercial meeting with your eyebrow. Put that away. No one wants to see that. You're inappropriately dressed for this meeting because your eyebrows look whack. Yeah, that's not what I want to happen at my work. I need to have perfect eyebrows. So instead of using my brow pencil that I'm about to run out of, and I don't feel like buying a whole bunch of other at Sephora because you know if I buy an eyebrow pencil, I happen to just buy like 20 other things because I'm not gonna waste money on shipping when I have to have other things anyways. I'm also running out of foundation. I need to get a whole bunch of stuff and I'm just putting it off, honestly, because I make stupid purchases. Well, not stupid, but overpriced pur purchases like this Visor palette, but I'm gonna use this Visor palette until the day I die and I'm in my grave and me and this Visor palette will be put together. I'll be put to rest with this Visor palette because it creates so many different looks. It really does. It has so many colors and I love it. And we're gonna put it on my brows. So what color should I do? I think I might just do dark blue. Going, we're going all blue, we're going in. So you're welcome in advance. You will now be zoomed into my face to get an even closer look at all of my pores and imperfections. <laughs> There's no turning back from this blue brow. It is happening. I was super zoomed in before. I was like a little too close, if you know what I mean. I'm just being a total freak right now. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. <laughs> I will talk about how I've been playing the new Assassin's Creed, the Valhalla one with all the Vikings and stuff. I just really like the Viking aesthetic. I even feel like with this blue hair, I feel like an ice Viking or something like that. Like, it's pretty cool. Like the Viking show that History Channel puts out, like how did History Channel just get such a great show going? Seriously, like the costume design, the story and everything is just really good. Like I could rewatch that show over and over. I'm such a big fan of re-watching shows. Like right now, me and my boyfriend are re-watching The Expanse, even though I've probably seen it like a few different times, probably a couple different times at least. We're re-watching re it because a new season came out and I just can't get enough. And it's like, what else are we gonna do? What else are we gonna do besides sit here and just watch, just watch things? But yeah, I really like the Viking show. But the newer seasons without Ragnar are just not the same. Ragnar, you can do no wrong. Even when you were a psychopath at the end of the seasons, like you can do no wrong. He's such a great actor. And the new Assassin's Creed Viking game makes me feel like I'm in that, but I feel like almost the new Assassin's Creed Viking game, like, could use a little bit more depth. Like some of the areas when you go to explore, I feel like it's a, almost a little too linear in some of the shots, like where they have you riding through the snow and stuff. Like, and I explore the area off of the path. There's like nothing around the area except like where you're supposed to go in that one direction. I wish that there was just more like shit all over. That'd be cool. I don't know. I just really am enjoying the blue. So I'm like, I'm just gonna add more blue at this point, really. So same Visor palette. Wow, I should actually spit out my gum. I feel like I'm chewing this gum really obnoxiously. I'm just like, I have this weird obsession with chewing gum. I will, like after I eat, I wanna eat dessert. So I usually eat dessert and then I can't help myself and I just wanna keep eating more. So I end up just uh, chewing on literally like 20 pieces of gum. Like I'll just chew on a piece of gum until it gets old and spit it out. And I just have a giant stack of trash gum in front of me because I want to pretend that I'm eating like 20 pounds of donuts or something instead of just eating one. So, I so I'm just putting on this blue on my eyes. 
Okay, so I'm gonna use my finger. I'm gonna finger this. And put this on the inside and outside corners of my eyes and then do green in the middle. Let's see what happens. We're gonna see what happens. Yeah, so just keep dipping back and forth with your finger and then just get it on the inside and outside creases of your eyes. Then use the same fluffy brush and just kind of buff that out a little bit. And then I'm gonna use a different finger to finger my eyelids. I'm gonna use the brighter green color, this bright green color, to make some contrast in the inner corner, the inner, like middle, middle lid, middle part of my lid. Yeah. I'm gonna use my blue brush, a little bit extra of that blue color and then kind of buff around the edges of this. Okay, I am going to go grab a Q-tip and wipe off my fingers so that we could clean up around the eyes with the Q-tip. BRB, you won't even know that I'm gone. Told you you wouldn't notice, I'm back already. So I'm just gonna wipe around my lids with this cute tip, kind of clean up this color. It's like you don't realize how much actually gets all over the place until you wipe it off. And then to save the Q-tip, I kind of like pull the tip off a little bit and you basically have a clean, wild little Q-tip on your hands here for some more cleanup. I'm gonna go in with my Kat Von D highlighter colors and I'm gonna use this green emerald color on the middle parts of my lids where the green is to make that color pop 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 like corn. Oh! Oh yeah, Lids, it's your birthday. It's your birthday. Holy she! Oh my God, this is amazing. I'm like wondering if the lighting is doing it justice on my camera. I'm gonna move my camera a little bit. I am def gonna have to go back in with that perp. With that dank perp. I'm gonna go in with a bit of eyeliner around my lashes since this got all up in my lashes. All right, so I, as well as you, are wondering where the cyber element is. So I'm gonna be adding some pink underneath my lashes. Give myself a little bit of pink eye. And the worst part about this is it's going to stain my lids, but do it for the vid. It actually works perfectly because it kind of mixes in with the purple. Now I'm definitely gonna go on with my fluffy brush and my banana powder and get all up in there to make sure that that is buffed out. This is really sad. This Stila eyeshadow stuff that I planning that I was planning on using is definitely dry and dead. So. Bye bye I'm gonna start going in with some eyeliner before my camera dies again. Just can't help myself. I just take so long to do everything. Just doing kind of like these lashes.
That went right in my eyeball. Not cute. Alrighty, now I'm gonna go in with mascara. I've been feeling kind of lazy and not really feeling like putting on actual lashes, so I'm just gonna start off with this uh, Marc Jacobs mascara that I have. Kind of just go ham with it. And I'm not gonna do any lashes on the bottom because that might mess with my eyeliner that I have going on. But I am going to use my Falsies mascara on my brows to kind of make the hair stand out, even with all this blue going on. I'm going to add some white on the inner corners of my eyes my eyes feel a little bit brighter and fresher. I'm gonna go on with another round of mascara. Really chunk them up. I want those lashes to be chunk boys. Kinda reminds me of my brother's cat. Chunker Chunkerson. I love chunky cats. They're so cute. Wow, that is some chunky mascara. I'm gonna go back in with the fall season, kind of tone that down maybe a bit by sort of being able to brush through it a little bit more. I'm just gonna go back in with a little bit of eyeliner on my lashes because some of them. Like the eyeliner or the eyeshadow might have taken over. A bit. I'm just gonna do some contouring with my Kevin Aquan and then this shape Sigma brush that I have here. buff it out with my blush brush, but not put any blush on this brush because I don't want to be looking like I have a ton of blush. I'm going to use my Posh by Sliquid Lip by J Star, who I heard recently might have given a blowjob to Kanye West. That's hot. I wonder what giving a blowjob to Kanye West would be. He'd be like, I'm the greatest person ever! As he's finishing. <laughs> I feel like giving a blowjob to Kanye West should be called a Yeezy. A Yeezy squeezy. Yeah, a Yeezy squeezy for sure. Alrighty, I think that I am actually done with this makeup look. I'm really excited about it. I feel like I'm like a kawaii cyber or something. I don't know, just like kind of colorful, kind of graphic with the kawaii stuff going on. I am going to accessorize a bit and then the look will be complete. You know, I kind of just like wearing an excessive amount of accessories at the same time and this bad boy hasn't even been put on my nose so i'm a little scared about that but we'll see we'll see where the afternoon takes us on this sunday fun day i really like this necklace pretty cool gotta throw on some hoops gotta make it trashy the bigger the O, oh, the bigger the ho. Kanye West knows what I'm talking about. Like, is this, is this one too much? Or is it just enough? Is it just enough? 
I also have this Nike headband that I like to wear as a necklace sometimes. I feel like it's like the perfect amount of weird, trashy aesthetic that I tend to go for. I think the moral of the story is that I need more chokers. I just really like chokers. I just like to wear a ton of them at the same time. And this looks great. And last but not least, I'm going my nostrils with the septum and yeah, I'm going in dry. Usually try to lube myself up, but we're on a time limit here, guys. <sighs> I almost forgot to put highlighter on my face. That would have been a tragedy, an absolute tragedy. So let me zoom in so you can see the magic. Is it not focusing? I'm gonna do some more of the green. Why not? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Is it not focusing? Focus. Like I have to talk to my camera, like give my camera a little pep talk. I know it's hard to focus when the sparkle is this strong, but get it together. Focus, okay? <laughs> Damn, I'd be shiny as though. Okay. So, this is definitely a look. This is the alien look that I strive to be 24 seven. Thank you for joining me in my nudist colony. Um, I'm really excited that this look turned out and I'm excited to finally be the ice queen that I was born to be. Elsa got nothing on this. I do enjoy this look that I created. I basically wish that I could just be at a trap show 24 seven. And if I could just put on makeup every day and pretend that I'm actually at a trap show, maybe one day it'll actually happen. One day, a girl can dream. I feel like my bangs have reached the point where I can kind of just like throw them around like this and it looks cool too. So, well, pow, forehead. Sup, sup forehead, how you doing? Haven't seen you in a minute. Looking good, girl, come here often. Yeah, I think I'm actually digging the like side hair like this instead of the bangs. I'm just gonna go for it because the darker blue kind of sits in my roots a little bit more so it's more visible. Sup, got ice in my roots, ice in my veins. So I'm gonna go hit the streets looking like trash, looking like street trash, looking like cyber kawaii street trash. This is the look that I strive for at all times. Thank you for chilling with me. Thanks for hanging. I hope everyone's doing great. Like I said, I have random stacks of gum lying around. I feel like this banana got more brown <laughs> just from like being at my desk. Like seriously, this banana was not that brown earlier. Remember when I told you that I had standards? I got standards, okay? Not putting a bruised banana into my body. Just kidding, I will definitely put this into my body later. I kind of want to put this into my body now. It smells really good. So I guess I might as well end this video.